Hey, hi everyone. So welcome to our next episode of Ask Property Lim Brothers Show. So today we are going to share with you some interesting topics. Now why don't we just get started? All right, so we have a question from Miss Amelia Tan. And Amelia is asking uh, this question saying that if the estimate BTO is scheduled for July 2019 and she needs to sell her current house to pay for the new BTO property before HDB allows her to take the keys for the property, when do you estimate is the right time to start marketing the current HDB flat that she has? Alright, a great question from uh, Amelia Tan. Today we're going to answer this question and this is a very usual question that a lot of existing HGB uh, flat owners have when they want to plan for the selling of their place because um, this scenario is exactly what happens when um, a current HGB owner actually applies for a VTO that is scheduled to be completed say two to three years later and now that uh, Amelia is in that stage which is two to three years later from the date that she applies for that BTO flat and she needs the CPF funds and probably some of the, the cash proceeds to be released from the current house before she can use the money to pay for that and take possession of the keys for that BTO flat. So uh, she's asking when is the right time she needs to market the current place. So yes. if uh, she actually markets the place too early there might be a time difference where she might not have a place to stay because for example if she sells her HDB flat too quickly and then uh, completion she needs to hand over the keys to the new buyers she might have a gap because uh, she might not have any place to stay which results that she has to actually go ahead and rent a place but if she sells her place too late then she also might have a, a, a stress um, kind of situation whereby because the BTO site will be asking her to uh, quickly sell her place so that she has the funds to collect uh, keys for the new place but she might not have time to sell off the old place in time so how should we uh, really plan for this timing? In uh, our opinion, I think uh, we should start uh, selling since the uh, MOP or the date collections uh, will be in July so we can start the preparation work in February itself just before the Chinese New Year we'll prepare all the uh, photographs, the video taking and all the necessary uh, documentations and just right after Chinese New Year we can uh, able to launch a uh, flat selling so that we have about one to two months of solid marketing of a place and the completion will take about three months. Usually, um, like what Adrian mentioned, we need to plan in advance um, because right now with the new uh, system whereby HB processes every uh, resale, although on the website they say that it's eight weeks from the day that um, you submit the application to the day that you complete uh, but sometimes it takes slightly longer than that because we also have to take into consideration that the 8 weeks only starts from the day that the HDB officer approves the resale documents and so that the 8 weeks uh, basically it is from the day that the HDB officer approves to the day you need to hand over the key to the new buyer but before that it will be good that you actually allow for another about 2 weeks for the seller and buyer to prepare the, the documentations before they submit onto the resale portal and before these two weeks you still have a 21 days option period so all in all that is about 13 weeks so um, it will be a good practice to actually uh, frame your whole completion process from the day you get a buyer to handing over the keys to be about three months but before that you also need to schedule uh, a whole period of marketing and this is the question mark part because it actually depends on where uh, your property is located at, what type of property that you are at, uh, is the property that you're trying to sell, your existing HB flat, is it in a very competitive area, are there a lot of other properties that are similar to yours being marketed um, at the current uh, time frame and the current place as well, and is your property located very closely to an MRT station which will be more sought after than a property that might not be uh, located nearer uh, to the MRT station, so it also depends on several factors as in um, determining how fast your property can be sold. So um, like what Adrian mentioned, to start after Chinese New Year is a fantastic part because usually uh, the Chinese New Year period, um, buyers tend not to come out to look for properties about two weeks before that and two weeks after that. So you essentially lose a month. So for next year, our Chinese New Year is in February. So uh, technically speaking, it will be good you start preparing the marketing in about January itself so that right after Chinese New Year you can start launching it and you have a good solid 3 months to launch. 
Uh, one more thing also is that you might want to negotiate for an extension stay from your buyer. Yeah, maybe Adrian can touch a bit about the extension stay. Yeah, so basically, HDBs uh, allow a uh, maximum of uh, up to three months of uh, extension stay uh, once you have sold the property. For a BTO case like this, uh, we will recommend about um, two months of uh, extension stay if possible. It, it's needed uh, if the sellers does not have accommodation after they sell. So uh, two months uh, actually help them to shift or transit over to their new place uh, smoothly. Uh, HDB allows actually a legal extension of up to a maximum of three months. So it, it purely depends on whether you and the buyer are comfortable on the extension period. So it will be good to actually negotiate this term upfront before you collect any option fee from the buyer because you want to ensure that all um, terms and conditions has been agreed upon. Everybody's happy. So there's a happy buyer, happy seller before you actually uh, do anything about it. And HDB also encourages a mutual agreement form to be signed between the buyer and seller to stipulate the period of extension, uh, whether will there be any form of uh, formal monetary compensation or will it be actually um, like monetary free kind of arrangement. So it will be good to state everything up front so everybody is happy with uh, the deal itself. Actually, there's one more scenario. If the um, consumer, the public actually get a BTO flat, Using a HDB loan, they can actually request from HDB to get the keys earlier once they have sold their HDB. With that, it actually facilitates early possession of the new flat, do early renovation and they can move in a faster transition and it's hassle-free. Yeah, usually for, uh, for that arrangement, uh, is good uh, and HDB actually will charge a slightly higher interest uh, rate for the mortgage, uh, they call it the market rate. So it's slightly higher, about 3 point something percent for that period of time where you take early possession until uh, your funds are in, then uh, they will actually restructure your mortgage again and back to the usual 2.6% if you're taking a HDB loan. That's what uh, Adrian is mentioning. Yes. Yeah. Well, we hope that we answer your question. Mm -hmm.